These are the Musical Fidelity Merlin speakers. Now I've been interested in these for quite a while. Uh, they've got a single passive radiator, which often means very good stereo imaging, perhaps at the expense of some uh, response at both ends of the frequency spectrum. I've been wanting to give them a go, but they've been retailing at £299. Anyway, I saw these brand new for 70 so I thought I'll buy them, try them out, see if they're worth adding to the collection. So, let's see if we can open the box and see what they're like. Right, so, inside they're pretty well packaged. I'll undo that later, but it looks like some speaker cable. Uh, perhaps not, might be just something to keep it uh, all uh, nicely padded. So there's some more speaker cable there. Right. And I'll just pull one of these out. Right, well, it's nice solid metallic uh, structure. It says musical fidelity there. There's a grill in the front with the uh, single uh, passive radiator. Around the back, there's a fairly small base reflex port and some proper binding posts. So, given that these are fairly new, well hopefully brand new, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them in for a couple of days and then I'll put another video on to show how they're doing. Thanks very much. There we have the unboxing of the Musical Fidelity Merlin speakers. Now the Musical Fidelity Merlin range consists of an amplifier and a turntable as well as the speakers. I suspect that originally the amplifier and speakers came in the same box and the company that sold me those have sold more of the amplifiers than the speakers. Therefore that rather unsightly but presumably quite effective bit of packaging in the middle replaced where the amplifier would have been to stop everything rattling around. Anyway, I put them on to start them running in and I'll report back in a week to see how they are. Look forward to seeing you then.